I'm actually gonna show you how I loop. So consider this how to loop. Singer-songwriter. Don't know if you knew that, um, but if you are uh, following this channel, then clearly you do. My name is C. Lily. I'm a singer-songwriter. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I wanted to talk to you about looping. Before I get into that, if you are not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and do that wherever the button is. I don't know which direction it is, but go ahead and subscribe to this channel so that you can stay notified for all upcoming videos. And also, down in the description, go follow me on Bandcamp. If you follow me on Bandcamp, you'll be able to um, join my mailing list and get notified for all upcoming videos as well as new music that might be coming out. All right, enough of that. Let's get into the thing. As a singer-songwriter, performing live is one of my absolute favorite things to do and something that really, really makes or breaks a performance is what the music actually sounds like. Singer-songwriters are often there with their guitars. Oh, that sounds terrible. I need to tune. And that can be really um, emotional, affecting. It can be great. But at the same time, sometimes you want a whole band behind you. And I don't have a band. So that's where looping comes in. Looping is exactly as the name implies. It's creating a, a, a section of music that repeats itself for an indefinite amount of time. For example, I'm gonna use my looper on my pod go. I'm just gonna do. And now it's repeating and it can, it would go on forever if I let it. So that's what looping is. And I use the looper built into my pod go, but there are also other dedicated loopers in the world, like the Ditto, Boss, the Boss Loop Station. And there's even an entire pedal board dedicated to it called the Headbrush Looper Board. There are also loopers built for vocals and other instruments. There are drum machines. I'm gonna focus on the looper for my, is this my main instrument now? I guess it's my main instrument. For my main instrument, the guitar. The next big question is, why looping? Um, so many guitarists and instrumentalists use looping as a practice tool. If you loop a chord progression, especially with the guitar, it can help build your improvisational skills. Looping is also for composing and for songwriting. Most songs have a chord progression that just kind of loops uh, you see what I did there? So sometimes I like to just loop a chord progression and see if that sparks my inspiration. Let me give you an example. I got my guitar set up here. So here's a chord progression that may sound familiar to you once I start playing it, but it just loops the whole song. So check it out, watch. recognize it yet? Here it is, watch. And then, there you go. Many solo artists, me included, use looping as a way to perform live as well. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna show you how I loop. So consider this how to loop. I like to start by making percussion, right? I do this thing where I pick my muted string, so I just cover it with my fingers and, and pick. So uh, let me come up with a new one. Hmm. 
good. Got that. Um, I tap strings down here to make a bass drum. And then for the snare, I tap up here, closer to the, to the neck. C. This is not a bilingual class. All right. Um, next, I like to add a sound that sounds like a pad, which is just kind of like an underlying chord so that there's something to fill the space. I use my index finger. Don't know why I did that. Index finger and just rapidly strum. something to give me something to to sit on right um does it sound great not really um but that's actually the lesson that i learned from looping it's actually all about failure um just because i try something with this especially with this pedal doesn't mean it's going to work the first time um if i want to redo this i can i'm not going to do it now but if i wanted to redo it i could and that's kind of the lesson that i'm learning about failure especially being a, a an artist it's if I fail at something, that doesn't mean it's the end. It just means, all right, learn what you fa um, failed at, learn what you failed at, and try again. I'm gonna try and add a bass line. I'm gonna use a bass model on here. given up when 
it felt like I was failing at it, wouldn't have gotten to where I was at the music festival. So that's a lesson. You learn how to loop, but also, if it's hard, please still try. Do it again. Learn what from your mistakes. Learn from the failures so that it can be successes later on. That's all I got for you. Um, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please let me know down in the comments and let me know what other things you want to hear from a singer-songwriter who's on YouTube. Maybe it's about how to write music or what are all my instruments or how do I get this dope haircut. I don't have a dope haircut right now. I look a mess, but that's okay, all right? Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.